What's up, everybody? So welcome back to the channel. Um, appreciate everybody. Thanks for joining us. Uh, today, what I'm going to be talking about is my crawler build. This is uh, mostly um, Enjura parts, but it's an SDX-10 build. Um, this thing turned out to me. I, I didn't film the build. This has been sitting like this for almost a year. And um, I didn't film the build when I should have, but I was just too excited to put it together and I didn't record anything. But I got what we have on it. Well, this is everything that I'm gonna put on this body. It's a Proline um, Jeep body. Four door, Wrangler, it's the Wrangler. Um, I'm gonna put this on. Color scheme, obviously you can see it's gonna be black and white with the tinted windows. Everything here, I'm gonna try to get on it. It's my goal to get everything on it. I really did the chassis. Um, as you can see, this is a 1060 ESC brushed. I have the uh, radio link receiver. I might be changing that, putting a case on it. I don't plan on running it through water, but you never know what happens. Um, I have the shocks those are also in drawers i'm not i don't know the number or anything like that but these all four of them i have these same shocks on my six by six which i like the look and the function on the, the, with the flex pretty good chassis is um it's an aftermarket but it's an sex 10 2 base chassis uh, all the parts the transmissions in drawer all metal metal gears inside everything is metal the motor is a 35 turn um i want to say yeah it's an apex 35 turn 550 motor so it's pretty good these wheels i got they're all metal the caps i bought got separate the tires i got separate these are the super swampers i'm thinking of changing out the tires because i want to put bigger tires I want this thing to look uh, like a beast, you know? Um, 25 kg uh, servo, steering servo. It's not a super name brand or anything like that, but it's all metal as well. You can see it has the metal servo horn. This servo is actually more stronger than the servo I have in my uh, big battery, which is crazy. It is what it is. I got this first and then I saw those. I put the battery tray right here and the mount. I have a couple of parts that I'm still waiting for to come in. Obviously the front connector and the rear connector for to mount the bumpers, but I'm not gonna mount bumpers because the body's gonna be over the whole thing. Um let's just go over I mean this this body is, is not gonna get painted um today. I have to wait for you know obviously a good day good enough day to paint the body i don't want to paint it indoors so this will be a white and black body white body black trimming i'm not sure if i'm gonna do the roof black white whatever let's um get this out of let's go over what i want to put what i plan on putting obviously the paint i already told you about the radio system, the transmitter, radio link, six channel. I might change this out because it's, you know, obviously the crawler. So I might just change it out and put um, another one of my transmitters in. Not gonna be no more than probably 50 feet, 60 feet away from it as I crawl like trails and stuff like that. We'll see. So what I'm gonna put on the front obviously is gonna be the front crash bar with the uh, servo servo let me say with a servo with the uh, with this hitch with the um let me take it off so to see so it's basic pretty uh took the wire off I just me solder anyways stronger ones get what you pay for right um yeah this winch I think it's a, yeah, racing winch set, but it 
has these links. The links and things. This is good. I'm just gonna put this on. On the front. I actually do. That's good. Like, you know, I want to put a stronger one. A little bit longer, actually. That. I have a spare tire. Um, cover. I have the grill. That I'm going to add. Obviously, grill holes on the front. These lights I'm going to put. But with these lights, I'm going to take the headlight ones off. The stock ones that are in this pack. This is the light kit that, that does uh, turn signals. Um, this one, ha I have this in my blue um, red cat. And it has turning signals, brake lights, reverse lights, headlights, high and low beam. And this is what I'm going to put on it. And I'm also going to put, it's got everything on here. Um, these these for headlights which are hot on um, angel eyes and I like the way they look so I'm gonna put these on it has a switch on and off switch but I also bought so they, they'll fit perfectly into the bucket and so that's a perfect fit um I also bought a uh so like a switch I don't have it here I have it on the wall but it's a switch that you can control from the remote from the transmitter that you can turn on and off and the headlights connect and whatever it's just an extra um yeah. these are um door hinges for it with door handles to give you that you know, more realistic look which is nice there's the uh, spare wheel holder that's gonna be on it to give you some um reflectors so it's cool. I don't know what the reflectors are for, but maybe some reflectors to check that out. Have an antenna. I also want to put. A, I'm putting a lot of stuff on this. But I do want this Jeep to be fully done, like ready, ready to go. Obviously, the posts, the posts for the body mount. Sand rails by um, RC Four Wheel Drive. I'm gonna mount that on there also. Is the roof rack that I got. This is a Traxxas roof rack, but this roof rack fits perfectly on the body that I'm putting. So I got it. I couldn't find any other one that I like, so I got this one. It also comes with a spot you can mount the um, light bar. Speaking of light bar, that's what I'm gonna put. Also, nice light bar. There's a, how does it have? Eight, six, seven, eight bar. Yep, eight lights. But obviously, when you turn it on, they all light up together. Yep. Also, gonna put a canoe. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, I'll put the canoe. This Jeep is gonna be definitely a big, crawling outback Jeep. Got the net. Go over everything. Hold it down. These are the uh, fuel canisters. These are gonna go towards like the back window on each on either side, both sides. This is cool. Got them in white, obviously, because the color scheme is black and white. Got this hood scoop. Got that to put on the front. Even though the body has a lift, like a built-in hood scoop, but this is gonna go over it because you know it just looks better. It's black already. These are gonna go inside the uh these are the c containers. You can open them up and stuff like that. Carry containers, travel containers, whatever you want to call them. They're gonna go on the roof rack. And I also have gas canister, you know, accessories. Jack, axes, little pieces. Only part from here I'm not gonna use is the winch, because obviously this is already gonna have a winch. And these lights, which I like. These, these are um, lights, you that you could put on the TRX4. Um, the, my, actually, my uh, G Wagon over there, you can see in all the previous videos. These lights are gonna be um, mounted on the hood um, towards the windshield, the lower part of the windshield. I'm gonna have two of them on there and probably two facing back, which I like the way that it's gonna look. 
And the body I'm gonna have, I'm gonna, since I, you know, obviously gonna have the body post, I want it magnetized. So I'm gonna have this magnetized so that it doesn't show the holes. I want it to put holes into the body. We'll see how that works. It's supposed to be some good earth magnets. Small but good. And finally, toe hitch. Toe hitch is what's gonna go on the back. Got this nice one. Looks nice to me. Um, I got this when I had gotten my um, F450 toe hitch, which is an extended one, different type. This is nice because it has a, <laughs> it's crazy, but it has a skull. Has a skull on it. Uh, it's, it's nice. And it has the brass ball. I ordered a couple of these. I like the way that looks. But obviously, that's gonna go on the braces when I get them in. Whenever I get them in. Um, but this thing is definitely as it is turning out to be to me like a monster. I mean, I have the Jora axles, all metal, metal insides, all out. The whole outside the, the container is is a uh, diff, is all metal. I have the four link on it. Uh, the drive shaft is metal. Both of them, front and back. Um, the whole thing is metal. You know, the bottom rail, all uh, metal. Everything. I didn't put anything plastic on it. Every single part is metal. Even the shock, shock tower cap. You know, everything is metal. The only thing plastic I could say on it is the battery tray. So this does have weight to it. Definitely does, and that's good when it comes to crawling. Weight is a necessity. You know, helps it a lot. Over rocks tough terrain everything so yeah I got the back one and I got the front one the front one and my 6x6 six six, I know I keep talking about it but don't do it my 6x6 six six has um the same ones and uh that belt is gonna be this thing is like solid and it does I have it set no I didn't really set anything to it like Permanently, but I have it done to where, where it's on, it'll crawl slow. It'll go slow by itself. And if all I gotta do is just control the turning. So, yeah, quick video. I'm not really gonna install everything because I have to work on the body. So, my next day, if anything, I'll probably heat it up in here. If I can't, vent it out, heat it up in here to a nice, good, great temperature to where I can. Um, where I can paint the body instead of waiting because it's actually snowing outside right now. So I'll do everything. Shirt is dirty. And um we'll be keeping up with this one. This this is gonna be a continuation video. I will be doing this. I'm not gonna jump on any other vehicle other than this. I was going to take out one of my other trucks, the Mojave actually with a friend of mine who has his Mojave and um take him out for a run. This is gonna be a continuation video. The next video, I'll probably do the body, decide on what I'm gonna do with the wheels, make them bigger, the tires, not the wheels. I like the wheels. I like the wheels. Um, make the tires bigger, take it from there. So, so far, this is how it is, and I like, I like it. So, we'll be seeing you guys on the next video where I'll probably work on the body. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys soon.